have one bedroom because we did not get to go to the second floor and a bathroom and then we had kind of like an open living room dining room kitchen area all in one we are supposed to have it upstairs like i said with another bathroom and what three bedrooms i think yeah yes um we have the first like the front porch right here and we have a back porch that was supposed to go out into the deck but we did we not didn't have, have enough time. time for that um we painted this green through the grass um yeah any questions? Um, Give them your attention, please. So our original blueprints, we wanted a three-bedroom house with like two bathrooms and stuff, but we ended up not having enough time to build a second floor, so we kind of made a loft. Take this off. Um, so we made a loft, and then we changed our plans for the sake of not having enough bedrooms. We called it a honeymoon cabin because there's only one bedroom, and it's in the loft. So there's also a bathroom in the loft, and yeah, that's basically it. Our house met all the requirements, and it's pretty cool. We kind of went for an open concept with the first floor, so we just had like two rooms divided, the living room and the dining room. Talk about your floor, because your floor was very unique right from the get-go. Why did you choose that color? I think it was something we all noticed, the teachers noticed right, right from the very beginning. You went with something very different. Um, we wanted to stay in our floors and like most of our house because it was a it was originally planned to be a log cabin so we kind of wanted to have like the dark cozy feeling because typically log cabins are kind of darker I think. Did you accomplish what you set out to do other than the missing well, components? Um, yeah. Overall, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we all think it came out pretty well. Good. Good pretty job. well. I think it came out. How did you, how did you work together as a group? Did, did you work together well as a group? Yeah. We have some. Uh, this is what we were able to complete in the time that we got. Um, we got almost all of everything done, except for the entire second floor, which was planned, and half of this roof. Um, the reason we didn't get this done was a an explosion in Brazil caused a shortage of a resource we desperately needed, time. Um, so currently we have four rooms. We've got a kitchen. Let's, we've got a kitchen, and we've, fallen off. we've got an entryway, we've got a, a living room, and we've got a bathroom. Um, we also have our own unique crafted furniture, this, and uh, curtains, and we have felt doors as well. You were one of the first groups to start to get away from using the sticks and using the the shingles, if I remember. How did that work for you guys? Actually, it saved a lot of time. It saved a lot of time because we only have to do the outside walls and the sticks and not both sides, so that all, that also saved a lot of sticks. Um, and we could just use, make the strips of paper as long as you want instead of having like a certain like four inches of how was it working with a group of five? Like I said, you were the largest group. It was a bit frustrating. Uh, there were some, there, there was some frustration and some arguments at times, but we got, we got together, we worked together pretty well. Everybody pulled their weight. In the I think so, yeah. There was a lack of materials for some people because having a group of five, we need more materials than most, so we try to each have something to do. We didn't finish all of it because we kind of messed up with our roof. We put the house on and nailed it down before we thought about making the roof so we could really build it. And um, we didn't end up getting both the roofs we wanted for this one because if we messed up, it didn't put windows in for either for this house. So we had to change our design for the roof. But yeah, we. It sounds like every time you ran into an obstacle, you found a solution, though. So you worked around the problems. How do you get, how do you get into it? How do you get um, my question. Well, we also messed up on that, too, so that you could walk through the pipe. That's the, the design. Is a, there's a door on the first floor, and then you go up into the second inside the pipe. Now, when we when we had, we gave them, when you gave everybody the assignment, you just said no, right? And you approached 
teachers and said, we have a vision for a treehouse. What made you do that? Um, we kind of want a more clean design because we didn't want to have the same house for everybody else. So we thought most people really would do a treehouse like this. And that was unanimous amongst the group. You all said, let's, let's do something completely different. That's great. Yeah. We have a bathroom, a um, living room, a kitchen. We have four bedrooms, one for each of us. Um, we have um, the walls obviously painted very strangely. Um, also a bed. We specifically designed the house to our our liking. We had to sort of mix our ideas because we all wanted something different. Like one of us wanted one of our favorite things, another wanted this, and then we tr were trying to figure out how to paint our house like on the outside and then that's how we have the two different types of walls here. I can take the porch off. You want to hold the porch? Porch. <laughs> but that's how we end up having two different types of walls to mix our ideas and we just had a lot of fun doing it. We did argue a lot. Yes, you did. Yeah. Now you had a large group too. Yes. Uh, four. No, four. Four, yes, four. And then you had the ability to, as long well, as I thought it was clever, Kelsey came in one day and said, I found these larger sticks. Um, and that was like, uh -huh, um, we're going we're gonna to break the mold and we're going to use something a little bit different, sort of, I guess other people will get to that. But you went a different route. Um, did the whole group just say, cool. We're gonna use these different, this different media, this different, these different materials, and that was okay with everybody. Mm -hmm. And you were like, ah, oh, we leave. Because we even added little accessories. Yeah. yeah, we made a bunch of uh, like furniture. I can't, yeah. I can't take out the staircase, but it's pretty, pretty bad. It's made a toilet. <laughs> toilet and uh, wait, okay, some of it's glued in, but we have like a little sink and stove. Uh, food reader, some chairs, and a little plant right there. They're really bad stairs. And then we so, customized we, we thought We thought we, we would furnish it and kind of, you know, make yeah. it look really nice on the inside. We have some pictures hanging. And we also carpeted here. it, so, yeah. And there's a porch on the roof. We took some fabric and put it on the floor, put it in the floor. Like we said, we have four rooms to custom ourselves, and we actually customized them to our liking. Kelsey has her own little style, like they're all different. And we do realize that half of our is missing, and we are not lazy people for not doing it, but we have half of it missing because Mr. D kind of glued it down, and he glued it wrong anyway. So yeah, we're going to ruin that could come off. Yeah. And, but this way you can see inside of it. Yeah, we wanted it to be so you could see the board boards and how we did our walls and stuff like that because we have a way of doing our board and so you're, and we have a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom, and two bedrooms. We have double doors in the front and a sliding door in the kitchen. And you were the first group I think I thought to without putting that like yeah. flywall yeah. on oh, that yeah. wall. Yeah. Um, had that work out? But it worked it out, out yeah. nice. Yeah. We kind of forgot to do the floor on one of them, so we had to redo. Oh, the yeah, the bathroom. Wall. Yeah. 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 The door. Yeah. No, I like the look, I think it came out good. Yeah, but we did go with like a darker outside, but then a light inside because we didn't want to rotate the whole thing. So we went with. So our group consists of me, Ava, and Adri, when Tim and Perry came and helped with us. Um, we did a pretty basic house, but uh, we wanted to add some features to it. So as you can see, we've got some carpeting in here, which is just an extra carpet sample that I had. And we did a bunch of, yeah, maybe, sorry. Uh, we wanted to add some also special features, like I said. So we've got, uh, Ava put some window boards on here. We ended up painting the house white because we wanted to do a neutral color, something that everybody would like, not something that would be specific to more than one for only one person. Um, and then we want the gray on the bottom because that kind of matches it. Um, all of our walls, most of our walls are both sides with um, shingles. A couple of them, as you can see, are 
don't because we did really need them on those, some of those. Uh, maybe you have anything to add? So, Adrian? Okay. Uh, and then we were originally going to do a second, uh, second floor, but we decided that we probably would not have enough time to do our second floor, so we decided to kind of create a different uh, floor plan for our downstairs. So we have our two bedrooms here and here, then our bathroom and our living room and our kitchen slash dining room. And we went with this kind of roof because we wanted something where people would be able to see into. So when you go over to the house, you can see everything that's in the house. And if this were to be an actual real house, this would be like a plexiglass. So you can see through the top of the roof at night to look at the stars and kind of be a different experience for a house. Is that our house? All right, so our house we did not, clearly did not finish. We spent most of our time making it sturdy. We purposely left the floor open so that you can see how we did it. We made it sturdy enough so that someone can stand on it. it won't break. So, yeah. Cal, Dustin, you guys have anything to add? Okay. Well, our group is me, Colin, and Mason, but then yesterday we hired Isaiah and Aaron to help out. And our house is a contemporary modern house with plexiglass all around the sides. So you can see through all the angles. And we have these stone pillars to hold it up. We have the staircase and inside we have a lot of furniture that we made like tables, benches, chairs, paintings, uh, bathtub, sink, and toilet. And we have beds. And as for now, we have an outside deck on each side. Uh, a lot of questions that we got was uh, why did you choose gray for a color? Um, we wanted a modern color because we wanted this to be in the middle of the woods. We, uh, if I might use your house as an example, we don't want that because uh, we don't want to attract attention to ourselves uh, because it's obviously going to be in the middle of the woods. Uh, we wanted to use a modern color like gray. Another question we got was uh, why don't you add like a, a wall to the bathroom? Uh, one of the reasons why we choose the glass house is uh, so we can have uh, private privacy open and in the area. Um, so we didn't, we decided not to put um, a wall in the front of the bathroom. Uh, we added flowers in the inside uh, on the walls and on the tables. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, so our group, our group consisted of uh, Jacob, me, and Josiah. Uh, so this was the front of our house, and the back we have a, a loft and a have the loft and just so you can see it, how it was structurally structure built. Uh, so yes, we did have a plan to have it a lot nicer than this. Uh, we were gonna have a lot of walls on the inside. We were gonna have like a dining room, a bedroom downstairs, a bathroom, and a, a deck off the side. And then the upstairs was gonna, the loft was gonna have a bedroom. But we just didn't have enough time. Uh, so we today we kind of um, went as fast as we could. So we got all the walls up and we got the loft up today. So. It looks a little uh, tilted and stuff, but we are working so fast that we kind of put everything together before the glue dries. So, so better, <clears throat> better planning. Yeah. All the time, deadlines. Like working faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. So, like Jacob said, it's really not that pretty, like this one. And the reason being is we had to actually redo the floor three times because we did it wrong three times. <laughs> so that's what took up, up a lot of our time. And we also, like Jake said, rushed today so we can like tear all this glue off the walls. So it also looks really bad. Overall, I guess we did our best. The farm house back yeah. 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 So it, it was originally supposed to be uh, like kind of a log cabin style, but once I made the roof like this, because it was kind of the easiest way to make it, uh, just because we didn't have enough time, 
they kind of just dropped the style of log cabin and kind of made it. Uh, uh, and we also put a solar panel on the side. That's a metal. You couldn't tell. <laughs> I got it. Alright. It's pretty good. And then we painted it. And now it looks like trash. Yeah. Also, I mean, okay. It's, it's, you, you guys work. There's one really hole on the well side of the room. Because we didn't have time to finish that. And then the inside has inner walls and stuff. And then we have parts in the back. Tell us about the process. You were one of those groups that everybody was busy all the time doing something. Had to do, or you just, was that just um. fake shit? No, I mean, every time we looked over, there was something going on. So, what was that from? How did that, how did you delegate that process? Okay, well, for the most part, most of us were on topic doing what we had to the whole time. But yeah, and then there were a few times where we had to take stuff apart and then put it back together. But for the most part, we're just kind of. I don't know, our group just found it kind of easy to stay out of each other's way while you building it. the bay window? Is that the bay window in the front? Yeah. How'd you design that? I, I don't know, I did that. Came up with it? Yeah. That's unique. Very cool. So this is our house. It is a lake house, if you can't see the lake here. There's a little fish in the lake, his name is Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's <laughs> okay. Um our our roof comes off so you can see inside. And um uh ripping off there. But it's wallpapered on the inside and there's <laughs> there's a bath right here. And this is the kitchen <laughs> counter splitting up the kitchen and the dining room. It's a half wall. It's a half wall. And then here's the stairs to go up to... We have a ladder going up to the loft. Yes, to the loft. But we didn't create a floor for this because we didn't have enough time. Oh, but we were going to. And a lot of people asked us when we were doing the museum tour. This is a sliding glass door door out to the uh, balcony. So you That's can why it's the green. Lane. Yeah. This is the back. This is the back. This is the front. You guys can come out. Pretty plain, but... Yeah. The door open. Those stairs. Yeah. Nice. They jump. Traditionally, it's supposed to be a uh, suburban kind of house, but then we kind of messed up the floors and then wanted to go to a haunted house because they're all like split up and stuff. And then we built the walls and put everything on, and so now it's kind of more like a ranch style house. So um, we have um, our front porch, which has a swinging chair and like all that stuff, and then um, the back porch. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we uh, have a horse. We didn't name it. Hey, those guys named their fish. Um, and then we have our driveway with our truck for some lumber that we're gonna put on to the side of the house. And yeah, Derek, you can. Oh. Uh, this is our back porch, if you can see. Uh, we have a bathroom, two bedrooms, a living room. We have no kitchen. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Um, we meant to do two floors, but the uh, we didn't have time to, so we just stuck to one floor. And yeah, and then left the roof open so you guys can see on the inside. Yeah. Who did what as far as the details go? Who did the horse? Who did the basketball court? Who did the well? I did the truck, the swings, the chairs, the umbrella, the horse. I did the body. Of Lincoln the did the well. I did both of the horses. Then me and Andrew worked on the fences. And yeah. Yeah. Great yeah. job. Incorporated. And um, we made a soup kitchen. It's a, it's a kind of a traditional style house that um, it has two roofs with a connecting roof. And Sully, Sully made the stylistic choice of um, breaking the roofs in half <laughs> uh, unintentionally. Um, and uh, yeah, Forrest, if you want to say All right, so uh, we originally planned to have a two style suburban house, or uh, two floor 
house, suburban house, like they had planned. But uh, again, we ran out of time and realized that we wouldn't have enough time to. So we decided to uh, renovate our blueprints to uh, change it up to make it uh, one floor I and mean, one bed, one bathroom. And in the end, we just decided to call it a soup kitchen because it kind of looks like a soup kitchen. Um, this is our interior. So this is like the kitchen. And this is like just a bathroom. Yeah, and then, and then they're just got empty space. There's a screen carpet throughout the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> no variation. And then this wall isn't finished. <laughs> so if we didn't have much funding on this soup kitchen. <laughs> um, but other than that, so we completed it. So it's a pretty good house. Nothing. Nothing. There was supposed to be a porch in the back. And then now it's gone. <laughs> so maybe it's an abandoned soup kitchen. <laughs> And yeah, that's Flavortown Incorporated. <laughs>